Hello guys, Brickley here, and today we have more leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video as well as subscribe and turn on notifications, but let's get into it. So the LEGO Ideas line has been on a roll with bringing out so many amazing sets this year, from the LEGO Disney Hogus Pocus just a month ago, to only in the year when we saw the non-licensed A-frame cabin, there's really been something for everyone. And finally, we have some first information on one which has been so highly anticipated for such a long time, that one of course being the Viking Village, and we now know all the details on when to expect this set, so let's get straight into it. So set number 21343 will be the Viking Village, so not the next idea set, but the one after, and it should be containing 2000 103 pieces to so a sizable set you can be thinking maybe that's going to cost 180 dollars even 200 dollars but actually the set is going to be coming in at 130 dollars which is one of the best value sets in terms of 18 plus range of 2023 and it should be launching in a few months time on october 1st 2023 so really not long at all to wait now until we see the viking village set which is so much excitement about and definitely a lot of people will be happy about that value especially when you compare it to some other sets launching on october 1st and maybe in the marvel theme but yeah it's going to be really good i'm sure we'll get lots of minifigures and the actual original submission was 2100 pieces so pretty much the exact same piece count so i presume lego have just refined it a little bit and this one could look really impressive so i'm definitely excited to see what this one kind of looks like and we should be seeing images of that one i presume in the first half of september for then to release on october 1st so definitely excited for that one another idea set which is releasing before the viking village that one being the lego insect set we've got a little bit more information in terms of a description for that one we've known for a while now it's going to be set number two 21342 titled The Insects. It's going to contain 1,111 pieces and should be returned for $80. So pretty good value, but a lot of smaller pieces. And that one is launching in just over a month on September 1st, 2023. But now we're going to enter the description where originally the original submission had five insects included. But it seems during the development process, LEGO have decided to change that. And sadly, we'll be saying goodbye to the bee, which is my personal favorite in this project. And also saying goodbye to the ladybug, which was another great little kind of the smallest animal within the group. But then three of them will now remain in the final project those being the butterfly the mantis and also the beetle so those three what you can see on screen now are the ones remaining and they'll actually change it up a little bit as each one of the insects will now have a small stand nothing huge just basically to fit the insect on and then on that stand you'll also get a lego flower so about to see that's how they've increased the piece count and the price but then only go down to three insects is by adding a base and also a flower so basically they're making this kind of a branch really off the botanical range so it'll appeal to a lot more people i think but definitely if you're hoping for the bee or the ladybird uh, bug then you're going to be disappointed that they aren't in the final submission as the bee like i say it was my favorite but i still think it has lots of potential given how they changed it to have the flowers so i'm excited to see that one i presume we'll see that one in the next week or so as it is launching on september 1st we are also getting the galileo tribute set still as a promo this year no information yet but i presume we'll get it between august and october again we had the christmas promos in november and december so yeah still getting that promo at some point this year just no information yet sadly then we're going to move on to the giant lego star wars ucs venator this one everybody's talking about it which is launching later this year we now have our first look at the captain rex minifigure which is definitely as with all lego star wars minifigures divided some opinions we are sticking with the same helmet which people either love or hate it we are getting a small cloth piece to go over the shoulder sadly no cloth is included for the waist cap and then there is some pretty detailed torso and leg printing then we also had that uh, basically printing on the helmet as well very similar to the one we saw in the skywalker saga video game we also get in the head as well for captain rex with the band bandage print on the left hand side you can see a little bit better in this digital image at the piece and we also can see the helmet as well with the helmet hole in the side and then there is also pictures of the cloth actually attached on the shoulder obviously this one isn't only going to be available in the venator so definitely hard to get but it is a good minifigure in terms of getting captain rex there is just certain areas which star wars fans which they got would improve on but i guess by not including a waist cap they are keeping consistency with all the clone troopers sadly at the moment then on top of that we also got our first look at the admiral yulara minifigure this one is the other minifigure in that ucs venator this one definitely a lot better than i expected some great torso printing also some dual molded legs and then a great facial expression then the hairpiece has been something we've seen before but it is a good hairpiece for the character of course all of that come in set number 75367 the ucs venator a really excited one for a lot of people it's going to contain 5374 pieces coming in for a whopping 650 dollars 
colors. We also have some extra information on that though. But this one should be very similar in size to the Imperial Star Destroyer. As rumors are suggesting it will be about 40 inches in length. So about a meter in length basically, which is really big. So that equates to around 10 to 15 studs shorter than the Imperial Star Destroyer. So you're gonna need an absolutely massive space to display this one. And then on the side, we are also expecting maybe two or three microscale gunships, which are attached to the side. So really small things like we saw originally in the Star Destroyer with the Tantive you can basically do this with mini gunships will be interesting to see but yeah definitely a lot of excitement and hype i really hope lego have done this one justice as we've known about this one from the start of the year so a lot of people are getting the hopes up and it's nice to see the captain rex minifigure as well as that one was people's basically most anticipated star wars minifigure for the year really then we also got a look at the palpatine head this one coming in the republic gunship you can see on one side of his face he has that smirking expression then on the other side of the face he has the angry expression that one is a pretty good figure nice to get an exclusive head that one coming in 7535 for the Republic gunship. Of course, that one being the Coruscant Guard version in that red and white. We have seen leaked images, I sadly can't show, but that one, 1,083 pieces, $140, and launching on September 1st, 2023. And it pretty much also confirms that the Palpatine will be the minifigure, which we saw in the LEGO Star Wars game recently, so that'll be the exact printing on the torso and also legs. But yeah, we still got to see that one to release on September 1st, official images. Also, the LEGO Marvel minifigure series 2, we get to see official images. Also, the insect set, we'll see that in the next week or so, like I said. Then also Lego Concord, we need to see images of all launching on September 1st. Of course, if you have any leaks, rumors, reveals, anything like that, early sets fine. You can email me on brickclickerleaks at gmail.com or just uh, message me over on Instagram where everything stays anonymous unless stated. And then in the next Lego City magazine, we are getting this jet ski. A pretty good build actually for the Lego City magazines. They've definitely been up in the game compared to other magazines recently. We are getting a minifigure as well with a helmet and also a walkie talkie. So not a bad gift at all. That one available in Europe in August and the UK in September. It's not a bad gift at all for those LEGO magazines. And then if you're keeping up to date with LEGO and Jargo, you'll notice that the brand new dragon is in so many sets being Ryu. And actually at San Diego Comic Con this week, LEGO revealed an exclusive version, which was only given away at the event. This one being the supercharged version, basically, where you get Sora the Spark in the show. If you watch the show, you'll understand all this. But it is a really cool piece nonetheless, in that dark blue with that light blue electric going through it. But this one is a little bit interesting. It's not in that typical San Diego Comic Con packaging. Also, LEGO said they weren't doing official, basically, exclusives to San Diego. Comic Con anymore, which makes me think this is kind of a temporary exclusive, and we could see it in the sets in January for next year or even next summer. As as you know, that is going to be a massive part of the brand new show, this dragon. So it makes sense to basically have it exclusive for a while, then release it to everyone in the in the sets. Basically, as I think that could be the case, as it was basically just given away in a pick a brick bag, and no official packaging like we see with the other San Diego Comic Con sets. So definitely interesting. Of course, we are getting another Dragon's Rising wave in January, so we'll see very soon if this is going to appear elsewhere. So if you are looking to get this one, I wouldn't pay the high prices just yet and see if it does appear later down the line and then lego masters is a show which has been insanely popular over the last few years and then the next season season four which is launching soon there'll be a little bit of a twist as apparently the winning basically project that wins lego masters for that team is going to be turned into a real life lego set in 2024 or 2025 which is a really fun concept of course when you look at the show these builds are massive so it'll either be probably the final uh, basic project is to make a lego set at a small scale or they're basically going to downsize the massive project winner which will be interesting to see how that all kind of pans out of course it won't be licensed as they know they do licensed episodes now and again but this will be an original lego set built on lego masters lego will either take that project if it does on a small scale or shrink it down and then put it out as a lego set at the end of 2024 or 2025 which i'm really interested to see and then we finally got a little bit of information on the lego august promos not much to go off yet but the lego house of the world free should be available at the start of august we don't have exact dates but it is that 250 pound or 230 pound threshold around that which we normally get for house of the world it should be available sometime in the first week of august but it's not sure exactly when yet sadly of course when i have more information i'll keep you updated uh, but that will also combine with the 12 in one set which is going to run into august with an 80 dollar or 75 pound spend but yeah i'm definitely excited for the viking village i know there's been so much hype around that so it's nice to finally get some more information the insect set is going to be interesting given it has had so many big changes made to it the captain rex minifigure is finally nice to see as a lot of people have been looking forward to that the rio dragon hopefully does come in new sets next year as it is a great piece and let's just hope soon that we see the lego marvel minifigure series but that was the new lego leaks and rumors comment down below what are you excited for what are you not like video subscribe and turn notifications for lego videos or lego news videos watch any of videos on screen now remember guys keep clicking and bricking i'll see you all later guys bye bye